Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will talk about K-map with four variables. Okay, now since there are four variables, so we will require 2 raised to the power n, that is 2 raised to the power 4 is equal to 16 boxes. So we will take this with 16 boxes. And as we discussed in the three variables also, we have to skip a column here. But in this case, we also need to skip a row here. What does this mean? Skipping is that you start from M0, then M1, and then go to M2 on the rightmost, and come back to 3. So this way, then 4, 5, 6, 7. Also skip this one, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then come back here, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is very very important that you keep in mind and the values now you can see wx is uh, here on the and the value of wx is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. again this value you have to uh, keep in mind the skipping uh, row so it's from 0, 0 then we go to 0, 1 and then we go to 1, 0 and come back to 1, 1 and same here 0, 0, 0, 1 one zero and then one one so this is how we write the values and then you can also write the individual variables if you like just follow this so like zero 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 means both w uh, dash x dash so w dash x dash and here also y dash and z dash and similarly all others Okay, uh, there's one important point which is uh, specific to four uh, variables. That is, if we have the four corners as one, how can we simplify this? Now, let's see here. We can form or we can fold this as like this as shown here. So when you fold this, these two will come closer and they will form a box of two. And similarly, these two will come closer and form a box of two. And then if we fold it like this, then these two boxes and th these two boxes will come closer and will form a box of four. So you have to just imagine that you are first folding it like this and then you are folding it like this. So all these four will come closer. And how do we write the values now? So let's look at the rows. Uh, this zero here and this zero here is common. So that means B dash is common. So we'll get B dash from here. And now if we look at these two columns, what is common? The last zero, last zero is common in both. So that means it is D dash. So the answer will be B dash and D dash. So B dash, D dash. That is the answer. Uh, there are a couple of other ways uh, of looking into it. If you have difficulty in the first one, you can see you can write the value for these two. When the, these two join, then we'll have A dash B common in both. And from here, you can see D dash and D dash common. So this row will have a value a dash, b dash, d dash. And similarly, this one will have a, b dash, and d dash. So a, b dash, and d dash. And then adding the two, so adding the two and taking common b dash, d dash from both. So we get a dash uh, plus a in the bracket. And you know this is equal to one. So you get the same answer that is b dash, d dash that we got earlier. Another way is that you take the individual values and then add. So just like as shown here, first top row, so we add A, B dash, C dash, D dash, and this one. And from here we can take A, B dash, D common. So in the bracket will be C dash plus C, which is equal to 1. So the top row gives answer A, B dash, D dash. And similarly, the bottom row, these two, you write their values, take common. Here also we have C dash C, which is 1. So you get A, B dash, D dash. And now 
adding the two just like we did here you get the answer b dash d dash so whichever way you feel convenient uh, you can follow that now let's do the problem number 3.5 we have to simplify the boolean function the values are given in terms of a main terms so uh, since it is four variable so we'll take a box of 16 and then we'll plug in the values of the main terms so like 0 means m0 so we'll put a 1 here then 1 we we'll put a 1 here then 2 so 2 is here so we'll put a 1 here like this so we put all the values and now from here you can very easily see that this is forming a box of 8 so we'll take care of that so this is now what is the value of this box now let's see from here there is nothing common uh, uh, from the left hand side so we'll look at the top now if you look at the top these first two zeros are common in both that means this whole will have a value of y dash so the first value is y dash now if you look here you might get tempted that we, we make a pair of these two and we make a pair of these two but you have to always look for whether can we make a pair of um, eight or if not eight then four if not four then we'll come back to two so you can see from here that we can make a pair of four if we take these two and these two remember we can't make a pair of six so we take these two and the, these two in one go and in the second go we can take these two and these two so that is how we'll have two pairs of four so this is the first one so we take these two pairs and what will be the value now what is common here first zero so y dash and from from here and here what is common the last zero so uh, z dash so the value here we get is w dash and z dash so this is w dash and z dash for this box now let's make another box for these two okay so this green color box now and here what is common is the uh, this one in both that means x and what is common from the top again the same uh, zero zero last zero is common that means uh, z dash so it is x z dash is the value of the third one x z dash so this is the total answer uh, for this and that is what is given in the book so it's the same answer now the last question is 3.6 now here the values are not given in terms of a main term rather it's uh, given in the variables a b c so let's see how we can plot again it is a four variable maximum four so we'll have to take a box of 16 and now uh, uh, let's see how we can plot this one now, a dash b dash c dash so if you look this is a dash b dash both zero this row is a dash b dash whole but we have to take care of c dash now where is c dash this is c dash here and also here that means a b dash c dash will encompass these two boxes so we put two ones here similarly now we come to b dash c d dash now where is b dash you can see this one b dash and this one b dash so it will come in between the in in these two rows and now the last c d dash so if you look c is one here and uh, zero d dash so this is the column so we had this row and this row and this column that means this is point and this is another point so we put one there so we have ones there and now we come to the third one a dash b c d dash this is all four so we just have to uh, get into one box a dash b this is a dash b 
and CD dash was this one, CD dash, so this will be the box. Okay, and finally, this one A, B dash, C dash, again you can see this is A, B dash, and C dash means first two zeros, so the, these two. So this is how uh, we have filled in all the boxes uh, with one. And now we'll go for the simplification part of it. So first, now we cannot make any of the eight boxes, but we can make a box of two and two, four. So uh, this is the first box we make. And what is the value of this box? What is common again? See the last zero is common. So that means it is B dash in both. And what is common from here in the column? The first zero is common, so C dash. So for this we get the answer B dash C dash. Okay. And now uh, again, don't get tempted that we can just make a pair of these two. No, you have to look for, can we make a pair of four? So if you look, we have these four corners filled. And as we discussed earlier, we can make a pair of uh, a four uh, pair here, four column box. So we take care of these four as we did uh, in the previous slide we explained. So you can just now write the value directly. What is common here? You can see B dash is common. And the common between the two columns is the last zero, that is D dash. So its value is B dash, C dash, or D dash, sorry, B dash and D dash. And now this one is left, so we can pair it with uh, this one. So we have paired it here and its value is nothing, uh, uh, the uh, first zero is common from here, so A dash, and one zero is common from here, so it is A dash, C, D dash. So A dash, C, D dash. Since it is only two boxes, so we'll have three variables. Here we had four boxes, though we had two variables. Okay, and now we can add the three to get the answer. So this is the final shape and the answer is adding all the three values that we got from here. And the last slide is just a duplicate of uh, the techniques that we already discussed which are applicable in this case. So you, you, you can go through this. I hope this gives you an understanding of how to solve the four variable uh, K map. Thank you.